Web3 Bridge Cohort 9, sponsored by BASE. So um, this is my week 10 as a student of Web3 Bridge Cohort 9. Those like the founder said, um, the Shege week. <laughs> so week 10 was um, the beginning of um, we introduced to Foundry, testing by uh, another mentor. Foundry is another um, development development that's just in, um, for smart contracts. Up until this moment, we have used um, ADATS, um, we have switched to Foundry, and we also started um, testing, unit tests in Foundry. This allows us to test for different um, test cases in our, in our smart contracts, and there were, there were some cheat codes that enabled us to like test and manipulate some situations like the time which was like being the trap, the um we could like prank addresses, we could prank um private kids as well. And this uh, while I was testing, like I kind of found some bugs that I never expected I could see. <laughs> they shock you! That I thought that people just perfect and I found some bug that I and that was really interesting. Um, Foundry is a tool that uh, helps us build smart contracts. So um, Foundry is just like ADAT. ADAT is also a tool for building smart contracts, but ADAT was um, built with JavaScript. So that means for after you write your solidity code, you, for you to like use scripting and testing, you have to use JavaScript or TypeScript. But then um, Foundry gives you um, a better um, um, thing to work with because you code in Solidity, you can also test with Solidity and also deploy scripts with Solidity. And this was what we explored last week. We were able to learn how to test with Foundry and also um, the scripting parts. But in the test part, we also learned about some cheat codes in which Foundry gives us. And those cheat codes come with um, a library, VM, and that library gives us access to impersonating users, cranking users to make transactions with their addresses, and um, also um, like a lot of other things you can do in simulation because what testing gives us is like a simulated environment where you can do anything. You can try to hack, prank somebody, try to act like your, your Vitalik on the blockchain. Are you serious? Wow! 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 <laughs> wow, that's so crazy! So that you can be able to, so you can be able to test your smart contracts and test different conditions in your smart contracts. And it was fun learning how to use Foundry. And I think on my personal preference, I prefer Foundry to add that. We were given a task. We worked on about two different tasks. The first task we were given was um, like kind of uh, a marketplace where people can come place like others, like great order for their NFTs. And then people can come buy um, an NFT from the marketplace. Yeah, so that um, task was really enlightening. So we talked about, um, like I said, signature where you are before you have to um, create an order, you have to sign the, the message and when, and like that message is to be verified before you can add um, your energy to the marketplace. The second task that we did was a um, make proof kind of um, task where we have a list of when listed addresses that are come and claim tokens, you have to 20 um, tokens. We work with um, a Mengo airdrop in which we we had a script and a list of addresses that are qualified for a particular airdrop. So we ran a script that allows us to generate a Mengo root for the list of addresses, generate a Mengo root, let it generate the leaves and nodes for us. So we we wrote a foundry, a smart contract using foundry that allows that only allows the list of addresses to qualify like qualify for our particular address. So we were the whole point of the using the whitelisted addresses or using the micro addresses, be able to compare the whitelisted addresses and the set of addresses that that we want to get our job. So if someone comes to our DAO that we build our contract and wants to get our job, when he connects, he or she connects the wallet, then it's 
it has to be the wallet that is what is there. If not, you won't be able to claim my job. And it was amazing knowing how to build this thing, how to build uh, an end up contract from scratch. It was so amazing. Also, the days for both uh, tasks. Uh, the test was uh, really nice because uh, I basically I took like the whole like 24 hours doing the whole day without like an hour of sleep just to like complete that thousand. It was really enlightening and interesting and oof, sigh of relief. I look forward to weekend in Lyman and I know we three three has a lot to offer and no shake it. Thank you very much. Web three bridge cohort nine. Sponsored by BASE.